another wonderful visit with my friends now located in Texas. And these are Boondocker welcome friends. And I will have a lifetime friendship with them. So good to see them. Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. All that I know is we'll get older, older. So let us dance this night away. Night away. We are sitting at Planet Fitness. Danny is totally exhausted, just like I am. You know, uh, we've been on the go ever since our rig was had the blowout. And I'm in travel mode, obviously, right now. And I'm just kind of sitting here having my coffee and just taking a um, few moments to breathe and get ready to go in and freshen up, you know. I'm not my most glamorous right now. So far, I've been able to share with you um, a couple places that I am able to boondock on my journey while I'm on the road at no cost. One of the first places that I stayed was at the um, Planet Fitness, which I used often, and I'm here again at a different one. And then I also stayed at the gas station, the gas station truck stop, um, the Texan. And I'll show you next, the next place that I'm going to go to is one of my places that I go to all the time. And that's in addition to Boondockers Welcome. And Boondockers Welcome is, is attainable through Harvest Host. Harvest Host allows you to stay at businesses for one night but also if you have the boondocker welcome membership you have the ability to stay at private homes that have um, offered up their property for free boondocking some of them do have fees if you would like additional amenities like power and water and garbage otherwise it's a pack it in pack it out and you have to be fully contained that means have a toilet and have a kitchen, gray tank, black tank, that type of thing. You'd have to read the rules. Go read the rules for Harvest Host Boondockers. Welcome. And I'm an original member, so my I'm locked in and grandfathered in at the fee. But now it's a little bit more expensive. I am an affiliate for Boondockers Welcome. And there's a link below in the description that will take you to the Boondocker Welcome website through the Harvest Host organization if you're interested it's been a great financial savings for me when i travel and i've made lifelong friends going to boondockers welcome so stay tuned i'm going to show you the next place i'm going to stay at along the road that's free well i made my stop at planet fitness i went in and i got showered and washed my hair oh my gosh feels great and I'm just finishing up this is Sean and his dad and I have permission to post this okay whatever way you want he wants to give me something he tried he wanted to give me some medicine that he caught himself shot but so he's gonna give me a trick Cool. Are you a gymnast? Yes. Cool. Are you compete in gymnastics? You just... I just tumble. You tumble. Cool. We've got company. Yep. We're meeting up with RV Tollers. Tammy and the Toller Doggies. At... We're going to camp together. At Cracker Barrel. We're gonna Cracker Dock. Yeah. Excited for that. Before I head up over to the other coast and before she heads over to her next destination. After we had dinner at the Cracker Barrel, 
we came back over to my camper and decided to have some tea. Salute. Salute. <laughs> nice hot spicy tea. Very good, very good tea. <laughs> so tonight we are cracker docking at the Cracker Barrel, but um, there's not enough parking spaces. You can see there's an RV over there in their parking lot. I'm looking out my window from my Murphy bed, from the upper section of my Murphy bed. And um, cause I'm sleeping in the front of the RV tonight. And Tammy in her rig and her two toller dogs are on the other side of me. Let's see if you could see him. There's, you could see her camper. I got the window shade down, but you could see her camper there. So we've got like two dogs over there, one dog over here. To I'm alert. up in the upper half of my Murphy bed, which is just perfect for me and Danny to sleep in. You know, it's I'm short, so it works perfect. I didn't have to put the the couch down. And here's my little Danny girl. She's sucking on her blanket, playing on her blanket. What are you doing there? Don't don't be doing my electric blanket. We got the electric blanket plugged in. Yep. We warmed up the cabin of the coach really nice and toasty before we decide to go to sleep. And uh, it's, oh, it's nice and warm. In fact, it's a little too warm. And we have, I have the Blue Eddie on charging let's see it will let's see if we get there okay there's the blue eddy charging my watch and where i have the blanket plugged in and i have my second blue eddy here in case that one runs out and it gets too cold in here before morning yeah i can always warm up before morning always can warm up before morning so yeah we're ready for bed we had a nice dinner tonight at the cracker barrel and then we had a cup of tea and sat and talked and now it's time to go to sleep so we can get up and hit the road in the morning this is day seven on my journey. I don't have any planned stops as far as meeting up with people until I get to the Panhandle, to Panama City. But we'll see what we can find along the way. Okay, so I hope you'll stay with me. We still got several miles to go. If you're familiar with my channel, I follow the Southwest Florida Eagle Cam. And here is our newest Eagle, E23. F23 is feeding her baby. Oh, how cute. Good morning, YouTubers. Good morning, RV Rebel Watchers. Well, I'm not normally up this early, but I noticed in the weather last night that it said um, it was going to rain all day. So, I know that my friend Tammy is an early riser. So I'm up making my coffee. Oh, I think I hear her up taking her dogs out. I already took Danny out and it is kind of drizzling a little bit. So before it starts raining too heavy, I want to make sure that my rig's all hooked up. So I had to put my, my uh, brake controller on and plug in my power and lower my jack so that all I have to do is jump out of the rig, hop in the van and pull, pull away with Danny. Cause Danny, I've already taken Danny out and taken her potty. So I'm making my coffee. I'm making my coffee and I'm gonna get um, everything ready to go. So I'm ready to hit the road and I'm not you know, stuck worrying about getting soaking wet from the rain. You know, I don't know how hard it's going to come down. So I really have to watch the weather going forward into Louisiana. One of my viewers sent me a message saying, you know, the forecast show, be careful. The forecast is showing rain all the way through Louisiana into Mississippi. Well, I did notice that 
when I was charting my map last night that um, there is some warnings of flash floods. I am not going to take I-10 along the lower half underneath the Pontchartrain uh, River Lake Lake Ponza train when I get into Louisiana. I'm going to go over the top of it. Not that that makes a difference, but I understand it's a better route, you know, um, as far as because I'm headed to Florida. So that's what I'm doing today. It's very important to take a look at the forecast and what's happening ahead of you so you don't run into really bad weather and not have any place to stop. So um, I, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to chart my travel and make sure that I have a safe journey as I head out of Cracker Barrel. I hope you're having a great day. It's early, but I hope the day is going to be grand. Before we hit the road, I got to make sure my refrigerator is closed tight. Since it doesn't, I don't feel real confident about it. So I got this new contraption and all I got to do is squeeze together the top and then it opens up, but it should hold my refrigerator closed. Pulling out. There she is. Saying goodbye. Leaving Cracker Barrel. I'm going to drive through this mall and put my seatbelt on. I In a quarter mile. Well, I get into some heavy rain. Yep. I mean, it got pretty bad. I had to pull off over to the side of the road because I couldn't even see it was coming down so hard. Bad weather coming in all across the south. Texas, there it is. Everybody, you want to be an escapee? I'm passing the escapee park in Livingston. I didn't even know that it was there and that was I was going to pass it. But just so you know, if you want to be an escapee, you can use that address as your domicile. And a lot of people do. Plus, if you're an escapee member, you can stay there for like seven bucks a night if you want to dry camp or get a RV spot. Didn't even realize it was there. So that's the road I'm on, Small World. I am a member. 
for escapees. But I'm trying to get to Florida and I'm trying to avoid these storms. And something drops from heaven or wherever. Could have dropped out of a plane or something for all I know. Could be a, put a nice little hole in the top of my van. Now I'm going to have to figure out how to fix that. I just don't know where it came from. And I went and looked and it does not appear that it came off of the camper. Well, I just crossed over the state line into Louisiana. Of course, I missed the sign, but oh well, shit happens. You know, it's raining. But I'm in Louisiana. I'm on 79. Bethany, Louisiana. Yep. And it's raining here too. Just about going to get on to I-20. Took the back roads. But hopefully I got away from all those other storms. Okay, so we got out of the rain. We're parked in the back parking lot over by the Margaritaville Hotel and the Sam's Town Hotel Casino on the Riverwalk area right near Bass Pro Outdoor World. And there's a couple of their RVs parked over there. We got parked and got inside. It was pouring rain. Windy. Wind blowing. The campers were shaking. So we're down for the count. We're down for the evening. We're going to rest up and hopefully maybe we'll be able to get on the road tomorrow. If not, we'll just hunker down here until the storm blows over. It might slow us down a little bit, but that's okay. 